And the leader of this fantastic group, I met him, believe it or not, 28 years ago when I started teaching at uh, the new school in the branch that they had at the Manor School of Music. He was a fine drummer and percussionist back then. And uh, he was so in love and interested in Afro-Cuban music, particularly from the percussive side. But I did not know that he was a fantastic tap dancer and that he hailed originally from Austria. He'll tell you more about himself in a little while, but he's developed a fantastic combination of using the human body, which is really the first musical instrument. People think it's the human voice. If they ever ask you on Jeopardy, if you ever get, uh, what is the first musical instrument? It's not the human voice. It's the human body. Yes, indeed. And he has taken tap dancing to new heights with his concept of fusing Afro-Cuban rhythms, but not only Afro-Cuban rhythms, rhythms from other parts of Latin America, adapting to them to the tap dance tradition with elements of jazz, and of course the native musics of Cuba, Puerto Rico, and all through Central and South America. How about it, ladies and gentlemen, for the one and only Max Pollock and Corpo Real. to be in such a historic neighborhood, such an important place for music and dance and culture. So uh, this is what this group is all about. And I wouldn't be here without my mentor and friend, Bobby Sanabria over here, who got me going many, many years ago.
Samuel Torres from Colombia, from Bogotá. I'd be just glad sitting in a concert with all these guys and just watching and clapping. I do that routinely anyway. But I'm just very happy to be here with all of them. It's awesome. Thank you. It's an honor. Shake it, 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 shake it,